We are back in Dubai on the Palm, this time Frond M, and we're checking out a brand new villa behind me, recently been fully developed. You guys are gonna love the interiors of this one. Wait till you see the views as well. It's a beautiful day, as usual, here in Dubai, and I can't wait to show you inside. Let's start the tour. Villa M121 is a five bedroom villa, 5,700 square feet. Let's look at the exterior some more. Now this is an olive tree flown in all the way from Italy, estimated to be between 500 and 1,000 years old. Now taking a look at the center of the villa, the exterior is limestone with travertine on the floor, stretching all the way to the very top. Now, we're in Dubai, of course, you need space for your luxury vehicles. Two parking spots here with some nice shade, and of course, a garage for the trophy pieces. It's not enough in Dubai now just to have a Lamborghini. So here we have a Lamborghini Huracan STO in a one-of-one -one custom paint job, a real-life racing vehicle fit for purpose on the road. Now, this is all about the villa though, so we're gonna continue through this way, go through the main entrance, now, I'm a tall guy, but look at the size of this entrance door. Incredible. Special technology via Philips, so it's a smart door, and it actually opens all the way this way through, and you can also open it up like this. Let's go on inside. Welcome inside for the exclusive preview. This entrance is spectacular. Look at these ceiling heights. Now on the floor, we have an ivory crosscut travertine from Iran. This is a beautiful feature piece here. It's backlit onyx marble. Then they've used a very large, well, two mirrors actually, stretching from all the way from the floor to the very ceiling and a nice paneled piece of wall here. We have a lot of fascinating artwork throughout this property, including a piece here, Black Movement, this is called. So the artwork is on consignment from the Opera Gallery in DIFC, they're an international gallery. The artwork in this property is worth approximately 1.5 million dirhams, and I'll show you some more throughout. I'm gonna take you through into what could be the office or bedroom five, a ground floor bedroom with its own ensuite, set up at the moment as a beautiful office, gorgeous views outside across the greenery towards your olive tree. I'd love that as a view to sit and work. Another art piece here by Mr. Brainwash, a piece from 2010. All of the artwork is actually available to buy either with this house or maybe separately. The feature wall has further travertine and you'll see that used quite a lot throughout the villa, but I like it. I feel like it has a long lasting feel and a quite earthy feel compared to some really in your face marble that you often see. So as I said, this could be bedroom five and it has a nice shower here. And then additionally, you have a door so you can access directly onto your back garden. I can't wait to show you that. Wait till you see the swimming pool and something quite unique about the pool that I've not seen before. I'll share with you that later. Coming back into the entrance, there's an ottoman here from Minotti. So some nice furniture throughout. I'll show you some more as we go around. This staircase is very impressive. You'll see with the glass balustrade, they've used nice individually cut pieces of travertine to cover at the end. I like the tint on this, goes with a very luxury feel. Another contemporary art piece here. This is a powder room, so I'll just open that up for you. We can actually go straight in and check out the quality of finish in here. Another black marble that we can see, and the toilet is through here with a nice window outside. Now come on in to the main space, the open plan living area. The flow and energy in this space feels incredible. Look at this bar, fully bespoke, custom piece. You can close off the whole bar by actually bringing these around. But I mean, imagine this as a space to host, hang out with all your friends and family. I've got the most incredible views across the sea towards the marina, JBR, Ain Dubai. We'll show you all of that as we head outside. Next up, we have a living space beautiful furniture. Now the villa is sold fully furnished, so you can move in with everything that you see here. For the perfect in and out door flow, these doors actually open, as do the ones over there. So you can open all of this space up, in and outside, there's a water feature out there. I'm gonna show you that in more detail. But let's check out the living space. We have some more Minotti pieces. Both of these, the sofa is model Yang, for anyone interested. And what about this feature? We'll look at this book matched marble. It's called Rosa Levanto and it's sourced from Italy. And of course, the best part, luxury home show on YouTube there. You can check that out. Subscribe if you're not already. Okay, now it's time to enjoy these very special views. So I'm gonna open the door up. Let's go outside.
We are right on the beachfront here. Look at this space, the swimming pool. Summer's actually been enjoying outside. Now is a perfect moment in today's episode to thank our sponsor, AG1. So we've been drinking AG1 for around 18 months now. Uh, this is our latest packet. You can see it's almost finished. AG1 is a comprehensive and convenient daily supplement with over 70 vitamins and minerals. It's super easy to make. You just mix one scoop with eight ounces of water. We personally drink it with ice, so it's nice and cold, refreshing in the morning. Quality is super important to us. I love that AG1 has been tested for heavy metals and also over 280 banned substances. Matt and I take our AG1 with us everywhere, whether we're traveling or we're leaving the house early for a photo shoot. It's a really important part of our morning routine. AG1 also actually works out to be cheaper than it would be to buy all of the vitamins and minerals on their own. And let's face it, it's so much more convenient to just have one simple scoop and get all over 70 vitamins and minerals every day. Now, if I've convinced you to try AG1, head over to drinkag1.com forward slash the luxury home show to get started with your first purchase. They're actually going to give you a free year supply of the vitamin D3 and K2 plus five travel sachets, which come in really handy if you're having a little trip away. Thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring this video. And now back to the tour. Can't wait to show you guys the pool. So next up, we have this beautiful shaded area, a dining table for 10. And this is right next to the barbecue spot. I mean, what an amazing place to have the grill on, cooking up some amazing food. And we also saw some people across on the other beach play some beach volleyball, which yeah. is also quite cool. So should we go down and check it out? Yeah, that's one of the best parts. You have pretty much access to a private beach straight down these steps, lead the way somewhere. Take my shoes up. Let's explore the beach. Oh, there's a shower to rinse the sand off before you go back on. We carry the travertine around here. We have plants and greenery in there. Wow, just that view is unbelievable. So what could you get up to? I mean, you could have an e-foil, kayak, little sailing boats. Can you have jet skis on here? I'm not sure, but- I don't think jet skis. Maybe not jet skis, maybe just things without engines. My favorite part is looking at all the other villas too, but this is a great spot to look back at this villa from what it looks like from the beach. Should we head back in and explore? Let's go. Summer is gonna to continue to enjoy the villa. You guys are gonna come with me. We've got lots more to see. So past this feature wall into the dining room, a beautiful 10 seater table, a panzeri Italian chandelier. I love this space. You know, you've got another Ottoman to sit here, three large windows framing the outside perfectly. And we have another bespoke feature wall here with further marble, a unique gold statue in the polished bronze. It's called Idol. I believe it's one of eight, again, from the opera gallery. Let's check out the show kitchen. What a beautiful finish here. Calicutta white marble. Uh, this is from Greece, looks spectacular. Appliances, we have Gaganau, an induction hob here. This is actually an extractor. Let's see that now as it raises out of the islands like magic. Really nice and minimal. Um, keeps your view open. You know, if you're using this space, you can look directly out without an extractor. Put that back away. This side, more Calicutta marble, a Gaganau wine fridge just here. Beautiful detailing the way you've got the glass in the center and then the frame all around here. I do believe 25 degrees um, did an amazing job. They're the developers behind this project, an established brand here in Dubai. We also have Gaganau ovens through here. This is the show kitchen. Then there's the chef's kitchen or secondary kitchen through there. Beautiful finish and they've got Siemens appliances throughout that space. That leads on to the utility room, maid's room, and then the garage, which we saw at the start of the tour. Okay, now it's time to continue. We've got upstairs to see four bedrooms. Let's go. Welcome to the first floor, up a beautiful staircase with LED lights. There's more contemporary art up here. I'll take a moment to pause and appreciate this window, framing the outside view of the palm trees, the greenery and the palm really nicely, and also letting tons of natural light in. Four bedrooms to see up here. I'll take you into a front bedroom. Got a nice touch panel here for the lighting. Great quality doors here and a beautiful bedroom. Hardwood flooring in a chevron style. 
And yeah, I mean, this space is epic. I love the pendants here, spectacular. Feature wall, really unique. Not seen something like that before, how it goes actually all the way around like a right angle. Then you've got LED lights behind there. This room features a balcony, amazing view. We've got the feature wall here with yet again, more marble surrounding, TV in the center, and finally an ensuite through here. I will show you this because these rooms are amazing. I mean, travertine, marble, big standing shower, and a really nice view here. You can shower, look across your garden, across your pool, and all the way out to the sea and across the other fronds, even to the marina, like this is epic. Okay, let's check out the next room. Moving along the first floor at this side, we actually have a large feature wall with wooden panels and there's two storage cupboards cleverly hidden in here. So you've got one and then another there. Let me take you to bedroom three, a beautiful room, lots of natural light. The bedroom is this side. And then I like the use of space here. We've got a feature wall. This marble is from Brazil and it's called Patagonia. Pretty spectacular. It looks like a world map to me. And then we've got that below. YouTube channel on, of course. And the other side of the feature wall is a dressing table where they've got a nice piece of the Patagonia marble here and lots of wardrobe space this side. The shelving, the quality is really nice. And then lastly, a balcony that slides open just here. Very oversized balcony as well for bedroom three. And yet you enjoy incredible views through the greenery, palm trees, and the palm. Moving back across bedroom three, we'll now check out the ensuite bathroom, which is just through here. We have a gray tundra marble stone here, standing shower, beautiful vanity with some nice LED lighting details. Now we're gonna see bedrooms one and two. You've always got like a dual master bedroom setup, both room, really good size. And of course, they both face the water. Another art piece here, we're just heading past, that's called the Kate wall and let's head into this room. Welcome to one of two master bedrooms, and wow, look at this bedroom suite, it's incredible. You've got the bed here, you can imagine waking up, opening the blinds and looking out to that view, all the way across the water, across the private beach, as a true oasis. Does it get a better view than that being in Dubai? Let me know in the comments your favorite. And then another feature wall with the white oyster marble here, beautiful detailing, TV this side, and an oversized dressing space here. This bedroom actually has the added benefit of a walk-in wardrobe. So you've got dual sides and it's separated, but still open with a nice seat in the center. And lastly, we'll head into the ensuite. This is mega in here, the freestanding bath, the sanitary wear and taps and everything is by Jesse, Italian brand and the dual sinks. Who doesn't love dual sinks, especially when they're layered in white oyster marble like this, and then they have travertine around the rest of the walls, but a beautiful mirror, natural light coming from two windows, but still privacy glass. And then it gets better because this side is where the shower is. So it's a proper walk-in shower. I love that it feels open. You've got the monsoon style shower head here. Nice nook for storage, LED. Oh, amazing. Now we've got the bedroom the other side. So we'll go straight over there actually from here. And you can see that they're very similar. You can choose what design you prefer because this one has, again, the bed here, similar bed size, bespoke feature wall. Look at the quality of these pendants. They look insane. Now this one has three large windows here. I like picture frame, perfect. And then in front of me here, you got some more travertine. There's a lot of travertine in this villa and a feature wall throughout this way. But then this does have both ensuite and walk-in wardrobe. So they're along a long channel here, but you've got the tinted glass. The quality feels really nice. Lots of different types of shelving and then hanging rails. Come on round to the ensuite. This one has a pocket sliding door, so you can open that and close that nicely, very minimal. And I think this, I mean, look at this. I haven't really seen marble stone like this before. Very unique, absolutely stunning again. Dual sinks, Jesse taps, a nice big mirror. This does have the freestanding bath too. So which ensuite is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Not finished though, because lastly, this has a shower room. I, I think this is one of my favorite designs in a shower room. I love the raw stone here, the way it's exposed. Just feels almost like I'm coming into an ancient bath with all of this stone around. I love it. Okay, we're gonna head back outside as the sun starts to set and explore this place in the evening. Let's go.
Wow, what a day it's been here at Villa 121 on the Palm. Now remember, this villa is for sale, so for any more information, check out the description below. Look how incredible this place looks at night. If you guys want to see more Dubai episodes, make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you in the next one.